meeting of the Wycombe Fiscal Court to order on this 9th day of April 2024 at 5 p.m. I'm going to ask uh, Master uh, Jason Bullock to lead us in a prayer and place the flag. All right, heads, please. Lord, we just love you so much. We just thank you for the day we have here to serve you. Uh, we just ask today as we uh, we work for the people of Wild County, dear Lord, we ask for your guidance. We ask for your wisdom to be with us tonight as we make decisions that are pleasing to you and our community, dear Lord. And again, we just ask you that uh, uh, decisions made here tonight that will benefit our county and help them grow and benefit our people, dear Lord. Again, just thank you for blessing us. Thank you for blessing our county. And I continue to bless our people. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Pledge allegiance to the flag. In the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I want to thank everybody for coming out to our meeting this evening. Uh, right now, gentlemen, you have the uh, uh, March 26 minutes. We need a motion, a second to approve. Hang on just a second. Please. I'm ready. Okay. Need a motion. I'll second. <laughs> Motion by Michael, second to Jason. You got it? Is there any discussion, corrections, or additions to the minute? Discussion, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Opposed, like sign. Minutes are approved. Uh, next, before you, we have the bills claim payments and transfers, including the late list. What's the United States uh, Geological Sur Survey grant? What does that mean? $19,000. That's money we got from uh, DLG to put in a, a cage down here in Hartford. We're a pass through. We got money from okay. them to do that. So there's no money out of the county. I see it says a grant here. Yeah, we wrote a grant for it and we got it. What's the Constable District 2 into emergency management. What's that about? They, uh, they want to donate their money for us to get a light for our drone, to a spotlight for our thermal imaging drone. This one did? Yes, second district. He donated what now? He, he donated his money, the constable did. Yeah. He donated his money from there to give to us to buy our or light for our drone. It's like $1,399. And uh, he saw the need because when we go out, it's a spotlight for our drone. Do I have a motion? I guess I'll make a motion. Motion by Jason. I guess we should, before we start asking questions, make me have a second. Second, second, second. Bob? No, thanks. You second? No. Thank yeah, you. I'll, I'll second. Okay. I'm assuming you Okay. Any questions? Discussion on the bills, claims, payments, and transfers? Okay. Let's Folks, ah, uh, post like that. The bills are paid. You have the treasurer's March pay uh, statement. We just need to show that we got it. Make a motion. Motion by. I'll second this acknowledgement. Okay. Okay. Is there any uh, further discussion or, or questions? Being none, all folks say aye. Post like sign. Motion carries. Same way with the clerks. Make a motion on your seat. Motion by Bob. Uh -oh. I acknowledge. Second by Michael. Any discussion? 
Being now, all favor say aye. aye. Opposed, like sign. No. Uh, and again, you have the uh, clerk's first quarter report. Same situation. I'll make a motion that acknowledgement will be received. Okay. County clerks, Jason. So, first quarter of the uh, Any discussion? Being none, all in uh, favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Uh, resolution 2024 23 EMA uh, grant. Uh, Charlie will explain it to us uh, and make the presentation. What that resolution is, is actually writing a grant for this. It's for backup generators for all the voting centers. Uh, in case the power goes out during the election, we are writing a grant with her to help her out to, in case power does go out, we can still vote. And most of the counties are doing it, so we're just helping her out. We just need a resolution. For yeah, that. that's just a fly for the money. <laughs> yes. I'll make a motion. Motion by Jason. Second. Second by Michael. Any discussion? Is that something to just used for that purpose only, or? No, it would be dedicated for that, but it will be something that we any other emergency we have any other emergency we can use it and that's how we got involved in it except for election day except for election day then it'll be dedicated for there and at that time we'll be taken to all the six precincts or okay. voting centers as okay. i got corrected <laughs> the voting centers i was just kind of hoping we could use it if we had to yeah, that is correct we will be able to use it in other places is it going to be portable yes sir how many are you getting six of them there's six voting centers and there'll be six of them if we get the grant They'll be stationed. Have you got a price of them yet? Yes, sir. Uh, roughly, they're about eighty. They're only, they only ain't that bad of a price. They're only about eighty nine hundred dollars for all six of them to run everything best. Or the voting centers need to keep them up. So that's for all six eighty nine hundred. Any further discussion? Are they diesel or gas? Gasoline, and they're the little Honda twenty two hundred. So we'll take care of everything they need. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed to like uh, Right or good, Charlie. We won't get it. Uh, next, we're going to call on Landon, our jailer, to come up. He's got about three items of business, it looks like. So, on the docket, it shows the uh, resolution for the jail video phase two. The last time I was here, I presented on that. What has changed is we got the MOA uh, to Ann's office. Uh, like last week, so I'm not sure if we need to vote on that again. What then? Okay, uh, so I'll move on. I gave everybody all a uh, copy of a contract that Justin has worked on, and what that is for is an ATM vending company inside the jail. Uh, for someone that comes in, it happens quite often that they have a bond of $250 or $500 that they have access to get the money to bond themselves out, they just don't have anybody to bring the money to them at the jail. Uh, they'll have access to an ATM. It charges, I think, a $4 charge. The detention center will get a dollar charge of that, and the vending company would cut us a check every month. That would go straight to the uh, general fund. And I think over, I think, a certain amount, $200, changes to a percent, uh, but the detention center's rate would still stay a dollar. And I ask, there's no, there's no expense for you. You're just no, sir. You benefit if Ben uses it, but get yeah. If Ben uses it, the the jail gets a uh, a percentage of that, <laughs> and then that goes to the uh, general fund. There's no no charge, nothing to the to the detention center. This would save us potentially save us from housing someone two or three days over. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. You know, what I'm saying if they're not in the facility, we're not having to house them, pay for them. Medical, we don't have to worry about. So if they can get in and get out because they have the money available, uh, it's a win-win. We have a motion by Larry Morphy. Second by Bo Bennett. Is there any discussions or qu any further questions for Landon? And uh, if you mind putting it in there? Uh, authorized and, and pay for it if there's anything paid for it. 
Okay. I'll fix it. Ah. Post Lexington motion carries. The next thing I had was the Spectrum TV contract. Uh, I've kind of talked to me all about that today. I'm going to hold off on it until we get some more um, some more quotes to see if we can get that price down a little bit. Uh, but what I do have is a new cell check system that I've been working on. Here's a copy of the contract, and it's Justin's looked over it. I was only able to make one copy. Uh, what this is is we have a system now that we print off a report uh, every month or whenever we need it. It's not very user friendly. Uh, this is the new systems come along and it's pretty much like a phone in a case. They go around and it will tell us when the cell checks due. We can put our meal passes on it, our med passes on it. Uh, it can be as simple or as complicated as we need. Uh, they'll come in and do two days training with us, make sure everything's working correctly. Uh, we also have this at the uh, touch of our fingertips. Me and Ronnie have a monitor set up in our office that shows us what sales need to be done a sale check on, which sales have already been completed, what's what's coming up, what's to do next. Uh, and all this cuts down on, on uh, liability. It, it's holding our deputies accountable for making sure they're doing their sale checks, making sure that they are checking on the inmates when they need to. And all this is, is pulled reports for our uh, inspection. Our inspector here pulls his reports every time he's there, make sure that we're doing what we're supposed to be. Uh, there is a charge on there. It's $4,500 a year with some upfront costs as far as the training goes and the devices we have to pay for. Uh, with it being what it is, I can pay for it out of commissary funds. So I'm not asking for any money. I just need y'all to uh, approve the contract. We have motion. I make a motion. Motion by Larry Morphy. Second. Second by Bob Ben. Is there any further discussion? So you're annually, you think you can still cover this? Is that an annual cost? Though? Yes, it's a, it's annual, uh, forty five hundred dollars, and with our commissary fund, I should be able to cover it. Cool. Uh, and the last thing I have is our policy and procedure. Like I said, I only made one copy. Oh. And what this is, is we went through uh, Keiko. Keiko has a model of policy procedures for, for detention centers. Uh, so what we did, our legal teams come up with it, and we pretty much borrowed it and changed, uh, changed our name, put our logo on it, and kind of made it fit our detention center. Uh, Justin's looked over part of it, and then, like I said, it come from Keiko, so their legals looked all over it, and they've come up with it. Is uh, how, like the changes? Were there cha were there many changes from? Well, uh, from the from the old policy procedure to this one, yes, there is some changes. And like I said, what we did was we just went with K Coles. They put out, hey, this is what you should be doing in your detention centers. This is what your policy should be. Uh, and so that's pretty much what we've gone with. So are the changes of the are they the ones in the blue? No, no. So those are the blue highlighted parts. Is mm -hmm. what uh, are. Um, jail inspector look for when they're you know certain guidelines have to be in there so that's what he he looks for when he looks through our policy and procedure and your new medical procedures are the new medical procedures that justin come up with that we presented last time is in there as well now that's just the basis uh policy when i start working on future policies i'll present that pretty much one policy at a time to add to that do we have to prove this tonight? Is that that we prove it tonight, or just we acknowledge we received it and look at it? Or it's, it's probably best to approve it. I mean, you can't acknowledge it, because, uh, but it, probably a better course of action would be to approve. You didn't see that problem. Mm -hmm. No, I mean this is it. it Landon's uh, done a good job of just researching the state guidelines and making sure all those are in there. Yeah. And, and uh, I've seen it. I'm a part of it. And, and really comfortable with it because he worked hard on it. I make a motion we approve it. I'll second. Motion to Larry Morphy. You said you yeah, 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 yeah. Second by you. Yeah. And then if, if, you, if you like, I can print you. Like I said, tonight I was printing one copy. I can print each of you a copy if you'd like to just take a look and look over everything. Yeah. I'd say get a copy of the file in the office and then any more to read the Yes, sir. Any more discussion? Now, I'm um, fixing it. I'm 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 fixing it
Okay. Can you do it? Can you email or is that easy? I can, uh, yeah, I can email it to you. Just email. Sometimes I'll read and check over. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Next time I'm a business here, I'm going to surplus the sheriff's bus. Do you know what brand it is? Is it international? Oh, I don't know. I've only seen it like two times. It's out there at the range. I don't know. Right offhand, Judge. Uh, it's, it's Miranda remembered it was yellow. <laughs> uh, I, I said I've got the VIN in the really? office. That's all I've got, though. 2004, and then I have the VIN. Can, can we just... Yeah, that's where I use it. Just go ahead and let him surplus it. Yeah, I yeah. think if you've got the VIN, that's even Yeah, we got the VIN number. So. Just go ahead and surplus it. Okay. If you don't want it, I mean, that's. Is that, is that a motion? Uh, yeah. To have second? Second. Second is all we have. Let's pick one. Okay. Uh, next, we have one personnel item. We're not going to do the closed session. Okay. Did, did we vote on that? Then with a, on that person second? Oh, did I'm sorry. Did we vote on it? Oh, I'm sorry. All in favor of that motion say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. Carried. Did, I would say that we do need to go in closed session um, litigation purposes uh, with respect to something on the email with the uh, uh, prescription medication issues okay. in that lawsuit, we just need to okay. uh, take a certain action. Okay. Motion by Jason.
conducted during the uh, closed session. Have one personnel item. Uh, we're going to want to uh, hire Tamara Guzman, part-time custodian for the courthouse at $13.63 an hour. Roll call. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Judge? Yes. They had another application for the other one. You're not going to hire him. Uh, he, we, we've got more the more stuff to do on the fire. Okay, will the next court meeting. Okay, that's all I'm in there. Uh, did you, any of you look over the Anthem proposal, Anthem uh, insurance plan? Uh, we do this every year. We approve it. How much did it go up? Uh, I had that, but I can't quote it now. I don't think it says it on. But one of them kind of went up, but then they kind of some of them dropped, and they kind of they they offset each other. Yeah, my understanding. That's what I understood. It's about the same. It will be uh, has a waiver coverage with the FEDCO card and all of those things for those that don't get the insurance. I will say, since I've been on this, is more than double over the years. And so oh yeah, is the county still offering the free one, or we have one free plan? Yes, I did. Twelve percent. That's what I just. It's how much. It's difficult. It went up. It's difficult to maintain it, but I've been adamant that we want to have one free plan, and sometimes that cuts into what the others do. And of course, it's made a deductible going up over the years too. But uh, and uh, we're not increase. We're not increasing the uh, uh, upscale policy where we add uh, add somebody on or something, where they add spouse or add children on. We didn't cut that. So I just got some information on it. It said it went up 12%, but the coverage is everything's still the same. Just the price went up for us, the cost is 12%, but the uh, coverage is still the same for all the employees. Do you have a motion to approve that? I'll make the motion. Second. Yeah. yeah. Who, who made the motion? Jason made the motion. Second by Michael. Any more discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Hold like sign. Motion carried. Next on the agenda, I'm going to ask William Plummer to introduce our guest. Oh, David, you're going to put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> we have Paul here from the Lions Club. What club is it? I'm from Litchfield. He's from Litchfield. And he wants to talk to y'all, and I want everyone y'all to turn your listening ears on. He has a program where people, the kids get in trouble with the jury system, and he's going to tell y'all about their program, how to turn their life around. Okay. Now, Paul. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I'm Paul Whitten from State of Kentucky. I'm State Lions Quest Chairman, and the, all the Lions of Kentucky, thank for y'all for letting us speak. Uh, Lions Quest was Keep developed a little closer to my phone. Lions Quest was developed in the 80s for the school system, K through 12. And schools across the state, about 4,000 uh, different classrooms, are using Lions Quest. Some counties are using it in every classroom. Lions Quest is a social emotional learning program. 16 weeks or 16 classes or however you want to put it. It addresses things like self-awareness, self-management, uh, 
bullying, alcohol, drugs, decision making, things like that. This year, Lions International has teamed up with Kentucky to put this program in our juvenile justice system. Kentucky is the, going to be the model program for the nation. What we do here is the other states will adopt this and it's spread nationwide. I was in Chicago last week at a conference at Lions Cleft International with 18 other uh, leaders from all across the nation, Hawaii, Alaska, whatever, discussing Lions Quest. In Kentucky, we have taken out of the K through 12 curriculum and developed our own curriculum, which is in your thing, which is 17 topics that we teach to our juvenile justice. Hopkinsville, not Hopkinsville, Hopkins County, Madisonville, Judge Gillum, and the Hopkins, the new Hopkins County Lions Club, Quest or Lions Club with 42 members, brand new club, 42 members, has started the first Lions Quest program in Kentucky. The first class started January the 29th, ended March the 28th. 100% of the kids that went into the program graduated. 100% of the kids that went in the program want to come back to the next session in June as mentors to the kids coming into the program. It's a total game changer for these kids. Now, the program can change their attitudes on life, their philosophy, changes all kinds of good things for the kids but it didn't take them 16 weeks or 16 lessons to get in the shape they're in. So the club in Madisonville is taking these kids fishing, taking these kids to Holiday World this summer, they graduated, and they have a campus there that they are fixing up for the kids of the community, and they are going to and develop these kids and work with these kids and maybe develop a Leo, which is a junior Lions Club for these kids. And they will definitely use these kids in all of their projects that the Lions Clubs does there to teach them service. This program cost the community nothing. It's provided by the Lions of the world. We got a grant here in Kentucky to get started. We've got the first program started. We've got eight other different areas that are in various stages of starting this program. We need lists of people that want to teach and work with kids. And we'll put on workshops and show you how to implement the program. Okay? It's a great program. It cost $100 per teacher for five years, but the lines pay for that. You just have to be willing to run the program. You have to be willing to get the facilities. The community has to get behind <coughs> the lines because the lines will back the program. You have to back the lines to back this program. Uh, the complete curriculum is right here. Okay. This is for you all to review and look at the actual lessons that are in here. It's, like I said, it's a great program. We work with high schools, elementary schools, all those, and it's hard to get into school systems because they're so time crunched on all the requirements and red tape. I'm a retired teacher. My wife's a retired teacher. We can tell you that if we had this when we were teaching schools, individual teachers use this. 
but to get the school system to use it is very hard. But there are there are school systems in Kentucky that believe in Lions Quest so much that they use it in their school system. Larue County is one. It's in every classroom in Larue County and has been for years. That's Lions Quest. It can be worth, and it's very flexible. That curriculum was taken out of the high school and, and eighth grade curriculum and was modified just for Kentucky. That curriculum that you see on that is only available for Kentucky people. After a year or two and we're adopted and it starts spreading to other states and I was at this conference last week, I had four states, Hawaii, Alaska, Utah, Virginia, West Virginia, Tennessee, they said, come to our states. We'll pay for you to come to our states and tell us about Lions Quest and get this started in our juvenile system. We've, we've started the ground up and Hopkins County is the model of the state and hopefully will be the first model for the whole United States. Any questions about Lions Quest? Sounds Sounds uh, wonderful. We will uh, look into it. As a matter of fact, we'll put a committee on it. And we'll figure out what we can do. We'll stay in touch with you. We've got your card and with uh, William as well. All right. If and we find William, it's hard to make contact with him. Well, once he gets your number, he'll call you. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That would uh, be good. Uh, <laughs> we'll stay in touch. So, but it, it's, it's a very good program. It, and it's been around since the 80s. And I'm, I'm aligned since 1979. I've heard about it. This is the first time I've been involved in it. And, Jason, and it, it, I was just going to ask, you know, it is hard. I'm in the school system too. And it is hard to be stuck in the school system because of state standards and testing and all that. So the, the counties that do not have in the school system, where are they going with this as far as an example? Of, We're know? starting, we, we start at one teacher at a time. Okay, and then you have like a night class somewhere or do you? It's a one day seminar. Mm -hmm. It's on a Saturday. Uh, we come, we teach you how to teach the program. It's not only the curriculum, it's how to teach. When I went to school, they didn't teach me how to teach this is. This is a 30-70 model. 30% teacher and 70% students. And these kids come in there, they're withdrawn, they have their own opinions. You know how, you can't get them to talk. By the time they get out of this program, they'll hold on a conversation with you just like any other adult. As a matter of fact, they'll hold a conversation with you better than most adults. Uh, it's, it, I, I've never seen nothing like it. It, it really does work. Uh, I'm going to give a copy of this to your jailer. Our jailer in Grace County is looking at it to put it in his jail system. And he said if he can get this accredited, that it'll spread across the jails faster. Than, that's yeah. be wonderful. Jason, if you'll For adults. I mean, it's adaptable. It, everybody can go through this curriculum. And you've got the curriculum, you've got the actual lessons. And uh, once you go through the workshop, the workshop's free. We're put, getting ready to put another one on here in about 30, 60 days. I just need name, telephone number, and email from anybody that would like to go through the workshop. Whether you teach or not, just go through the workshop, and after you go through the workshop, you'll be ready to go teach. Okay. And then at that point, you go to the jails and work from there. Like you said. Anybody can teach it. Yeah. Ellen, will you help look in that too with, with Jason? Sure. Okay. But uh, it, it's, a, it, it's a great program. It really is. And it's, there's no cost. I mean, well, there is cost. You all got to have a place to, to have it. And, mm -hmm. You know, Madisonville. we got places. Madisonville has a place to hold it. They've got people off the street, not teachers, that are teaching the program. They teach the boys in one room. They teach the girls in another room. They keep the classes small. It's using the diversionary juvenile program. So the kids, when they appear before the judge, they can go house arrest, uh, juvenile lockup, or this program and the parents and the kids will speak highly of what just happened to their kids and we'll certainly look into it and like we've got 
Helen and Jason's going to help us look into it. So it, then, your club's behind it, this club's behind it, and mm -hmm. love, the clubs of Kentucky are behind it. That okay. sounds wonderful. And we do have plenty of places to provide for me. Yeah, yeah. The county would definitely do that. Yeah, we're going to let it. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Okay. Here's the David. David's getting over to me. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to it. Well, you've got copies. We've got, I'll get to the guy the jail. Well, that's your all. Here's a copy for the jail. Okay. So I get this. Here you go. Give this to the jailer. You put down random wheel. I'll see. I'll see you tomorrow. Unless you want to. Thank you, Paul. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate. I appreciate the staff of the the masters in the county. Appreciate Paul from the Lions Club letting him come speak about it. You're welcome. Uh, And, and Melton, I'm going to appoint her to the committee as well. So be three of you. Uh, any other committee reports? To, oh, I got one other committee to appoint. And then go. Uh, Bob, would you serve on a committee with Justin and uh, Charlie Shields? And want to, uh, we're going to uh, introduce a uh, solar uh, ordinance to account and uh, we'll, we'll get all the details to you on it. Yeah, yeah. Things scheduled meeting. What would the ordinance be for? Be the benefit of it? It's just something we have, every county has to have. It's one of those things you got to have. That's our county and our use of the bar. No. I'm sorry. Uh, I thought we were already from the water activity, but I guess maybe we just talked about it. I think we should talk about it. Okay, now any, is there any other committee reports? Any other committees to report? Has the uh, mental health man? They meet monthly with the, the you know, the occupant. I mean, That's not till next. Okay. Thursday, I think. I'll see this meeting right now. Yeah. Okay. Well, we need to I've got to get you to right down there and I get down here. <laughs> so is there any other committee reports? Bing then let's go to the magistrate's comments. Let's start on the fifth this time. Let's start I don't have anything, Judge. Okay, Bob. Uh yeah, nothing at this time. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mike. Uh first district has no uh, I will remind you we do have a meeting, special call at 4 o'clock Thursday. It should be quick. Uh, is there, does anyone, oh, I forgot to ask Jason, Justin, you got anything? No, thank you. Is anybody in the uh, general attendance have anything for the benefit of the body? Is that special call going to be in here? In the little fiscal courtroom. Is, uh, if there's no other business to come before the uh, group, I uh, do want to thank Donnie and Doug and all of y'all for being here. Uh, we we're going to call this meeting adjourned. See you next tomorrow.